classes are out for the most part. College students traditionally go back after Thanksgiving, but aren't this year. Many college towns were hit early with coronavirus case surges like in Radford. But with that in the rearview mirror tonight, 10 News reporter McKinley Struther talks with students to see how this wild ride has been. The 2020 school year was, well, you know, anything but normal. We were all like, we're not going back. Reality settled back in the spring. Being back on campus meant everything as they knew it was different. It was definitely difficult, um, but we made it through. Simply seeing lots of people walk across campus this fall or filling up the stands this basketball season all feels like a distant memory. Perhaps senior Samantha Powell knows that all too well. I will say that there's been many sleepless nights studying and trying to retain information, but it's totally worth it. Unfortunately, that's not everyone's take. And I haven't adjusted to online classes that well, but it's I have all A's, so that's at least it matters. But you can't feel too bad for Tavon Christian. He's doing better than most. I'd say watch out for Tavon as the dual major completes his sophomore year and Samantha as she graduates and get this, heads off to medical school. And trust, they'll both watch out for themselves and their fellow Highlanders. We're together and apart at the same time, and it was one of the changes that like was the greatest thing that helped me through the semester. While things may be quiet now, even as Samantha pointed out, next semester they're hoping for a healthy, safe, fun return to campus. Reporting on the campus of Radford University, I'm McKinley Strother, 10 News, working for you.